I want to talk about something called the right to exit. The right to exit is basically the right to exit a violent situation, a cult, um, whether it's programming or um, any sort of situation, okay, for the slavery. And this is something that when you address anything to do with cult, brainwashing, psyo, um, in whichever context, you have to tend to the right to exit. And you need to understand that to exit such a situation, um, a person will not be able to work. They will need independent housing, um, housing first, they will need to be believed. Uh, they will need to be able to speak and be believed eventually, not by force, and not when you say, but when they say uh, anything to do with the sovereignty, the autonomy, um, would need to be reinstated, all in all with the needs to have attachment and the needs to have a safe environment. So. Um, even if you don't know how to provide this, tending to the right to exit is the first and foremost of every conversation where you want to bring cult, psyop, uh, brainwash, and so on and so forth. And you also need to tend to that within your lineage. Okay? Um, because right now we are approaching a time where no superficial talks okay pluto is about to try and sedna again and then sedna will go retrograde later this year again okay with the passage of pluto again to try and sedna um so um there are going to be no superficial talks if you're going to take us to 9 to 12 millennia, which is, you know, Sedna cycle, um, we're going to go with you back to 9 to 12 millennia, and we're going to ask about women rights, we're going to ask about child rights, we're going to ask about um, inclusivity for the disabled, we're going to ask about um, all these uncomfortable, uh, how do you treat other tribes, we're going to ask about biodiversity, um, versus bloodline hunting. Uh, we're going to ask all these tough questions and we already know that your answers and who is we, the people who tend to these topics in our own lineages. Okay? And so it's not going like there there's not going to be a superficial conversation here that will take the rain um let's say you know as a person let's give concrete example i live in israel and i'm half israeli half dutch uh so if i were to look for let's say the mossad outside of israel for that when i might run into the mossad I would look for the pro-Palestine demonstrations um, before I would look to world leaders who might be assassinated by, okay? So um, I would look to protests and demonstrations before I would look, um, and, and again, if you are not Lars, and you are not one of the victims of the time where suddenly there was perpetrator after he got tortured himself. So, turn to your lineage. Who tortured who in your lineage? Um, it's important for the sake of this conversation to understand what the prison cell experiment was. Um, what people were taught that it was is that it was a psychological experiment. Uh, they uh, took uh, two groups of people, one were prisoners and one were wards, and the wards began to use their power and they also gave them electric shock. 
uh, this is what you're told. What you're not told, okay, you're told that that was later not ethical and they stopped making such experiments with human beings, okay? What you're not told is that your everyday businessman, your everyday leader, your everyday uh, right or left, okay, um, your everyday uh, a public figure went through both sides of this torture of the prison cell experiment and are still living through it and when you talk to them about freedom they have either sacrificed it or it was sacrificed for them and there's expandable children there's expandable people there's expandable public figures and leaders um, and so when we are talking about our freedoms the the, the people we are talking about two are already within this experiment giving the orders to expand this experiment and the more divisive you are about this the more you accept the division um, the more you are participating in the experiment So, if you cannot take this discourse with tribal, th your tribal thinking is demociding you. I'm going to say it again. Your tribal thinking is demociding you. Okay? But you might want to try to go Mandela on it. What Mandela did, he began to abolish bloodline segregation, he decentralized the kingdom, okay, not adhering to the ruler or the royal family um, in, uh, in Africa, um, for South Africa, okay, the apartheid, and married a woman from another tribe. Um, those were major steps alongside with 28 years imprisonment to abolishing apartheid because what is about apartheid is bloodline segregation okay if your tribe practices bloodline segregation why do you complain that the white people do it you did it between tribes okay if your if your if your tribe has slavery in it why do you complain when the white people do that Why not abolish slavery? And we are in an opportune time to abolish slavery because Uranus conjuncts our goal. And so, um, tomorrow our goal will eclipse, and I want to call her better per se, Metusa Gorgon, because our goal simply means this, the head of Satan, and the story for our goal was she, she was raped and murdered, and then not believed, and then her rage, she was so much enraged that the head was used as a talisman to scare away rapists and murderers and psych and psyop. <laughs> That's how we use our goal um, today. So, okay, in case you didn't know. Um, so when you call her the head of Satan, okay, if you don't call Zeus the head of Satan, or he was doing incest. Okay, we don't come at him with head of Satan, but we call our goal the head of Satan, okay? This is pretty ridiculous. Um, and tomorrow she will be eclipsing she, that uh, for the Egyptians they knew that every day, three days or three phases she eclipses and eclipses usually were considered days that were unlucky um, so for our goal uh, again give reverence to the voices of survivors believe survivors believe survivors even if they happen to be victims of your a uh, go-to celebrity or go-to person or I don't know, okay? Gotta believe Lars. I understand that this was the reality, but of which I'm living in as half Israeli, half Dutch. I believe the person that dares to speak up, and they deserve to live life with dignity. And so, to give reverence, more than any ritual, is the essence, hibiscus, of 
appropriate a snowflake obsidian I heard appropriate um, so those are additional okay rock teachers and plant teachers um, that can be uh, assisting of the process and and when you tend to go she's a great well talisman um, simply because if you don't interfere with the sexual energy maleficly um, if you um, uh, don't uh, uh, cut off between spirit and matter this is the phase of Taurus of tropical Taurus of spirit and the matter of balance um, then you are all in compassion and you understand that it's not just torture people go through but also psychic attacks uh, and you can see more of the picture of what makes it difficult for them to when you tend to that with the right to exit the call then you can begin to build up an alternative and to build up a strategy uh, or various strategies and various alternatives preferably so uh, then what happens you become truly wealthy in spirit and in matter you get to enjoy what you have and have more of that which you enjoy ethically comprised more and more ethically comprised um, and so um, abolishing of electrocution of children abolishing of electrocution uh, of people abolishing of satanic ritual abuse abolishing of prison cell dynamics abolishing of slavery abolishing of hunting people by the bloodline and putting them through torturous things for to get what you want to get from them uh, in society um, abolishing of those tribal practices of uh, infanticide okay already reverence in sedna as well um, uh, accommodating for free men and women uh, and free children in our society in our tribes um, tending to these things okay uh, is good and appropriate uh, yes reverence for our goal and knowing that you're not to blame uh, for what happened to you and if uh, a society doesn't listen to the children to the women uh, eventually they will not listen to the men eventually they can be more susceptible to invasion as happened to Israel uh, 7 October and as can happen to Netherlands if we don't tend to satanic ritual abuse not by head hunting or putting the finger of blame but tending to the phenomena and beginning to tend to the right to exit and um, the cultivation and abolishing of slavery within our lineage um, that we thought we were over this but unfortunately um, there's still more to do uh, so I hope this helps tomorrow I'll go will be blinking uh, so that you will be ex uh, uh, better say will be eclipsing um, so again this is uh, yes it, it's happened every three days um, but the next day she will already be in her favorable phase and so for tomorrow um, uh, rituals that you do whether get to rituals that you do um, that are aimed at purifying cleansing so take your salt baths um, uh, rest okay um, that is appropriate okay we don't usually do manifestation magic with this um, if you say uh, although if you say something or do something it's basically very likely it's faded it's eclipsed for you um, so um, uh, very very grateful very uh, respectful of uh, David Icke for uh, publishing the testimonials that led me to learn about Lars testimonial and to be taken further steps to tend to those topics in uh, my lineages um okay and, and if each of us would tend to it in our own lineages and we tend to the right to exit uh and we understand that these people are gonna need if they exit the call they're gonna need a housing they're gonna need uh, um, a food they're gonna need those things independently of their ability to work and they're going to be need to be uh, safe and we're gonna have to believe them when they talk about what they've been through and in spirit and in matter and our worldview has to be accommodating so there's a lot for us to purify within um, and I know that, that I will be meditating on it or 
or sleeping on it and then there are many things that um, I'm purifying of everything myself in relation to these things or when I ran whether in therapy whether at work um, or whether uh, in, in what I do in astrology uh, and so on um, listening to to also take the time okay to take the time and honor yourself um, and not only bombard yourself with information uh, is also important um, and, and really process uh, things so um, that would be kind of towards the algal eclipse uh, as per the question is there a plan to demos uh, demoside the entire earth and so on this is like there's always something uh, and I want you to understand that people are doing that they've been through a lot and they are the ones that have been within this prison cell experiments as both the prisoners and the perpetrators and when and, and they been programmed and extorted in such a way that they would perform um, and this is uh, what we are tending to and it, which is why the right to exit is so important to tend to and it's not about blame and it's not about headhunting and it's not as you know taylor swift said you know burn when it's burned the witch they're screaming when it's when the truth comes out it's quiet okay talking about the phone call where she was i didn't hear the phone call but uh, she was uh, almost cancelled because they recorded uh, kanye and kim kardashian recorded a phone call of her and edited it and then when the whole conversation came out it was obvious that uh, some context was missing and nobody apologized and everybody was so quiet uh, but there were riots in the streets and the people calling to cancel her and so on and so forth over uh, a conversation with no context it's obvious that Kardashian and Ye were extorted themselves um, so we understand that, uh, that this is a part of what is going on and everybody has their own process again the more you watch these videos the more you learn the more you get educated the the less you are of the l'homme rebelle part of the people who have a lot of energy to rebel but not really a clue of how to and what to rebel in, okay what what to rebel against uh, and the more you have the wisdom um uh, that is not easy to process um but is going to make your change effective and enduring and we have windows of opportunities that we didn't have in 12 millennia so anything you dream of whether it's abolishing child trafficking abolishing slavery abolishing sex trafficking abolishing uh, bloodline segregation all of these things abolishing religious persecution all of these things with the B6 dollars, you can simply like dream big, dream way bigger than even your ancestors. Okay? And you will see it's possible to tend to things now that wasn't possible in millennia. Technology, technology that is uh, compatible with us and with nature. Okay? Then to these things, uh, even a small step, I know it is, can be overwhelming, but you see that you receive support and you see that well, you make the, what you thought was impossible, you make it not only possible, you make it real and not only real, but real benefic that you enjoy of what you manifested. It's not just to manifest, but you enjoy of what you manifested and you're satisfied with what you manifested and you're happy with your life course um, and you feel fulfillment and a sense of meaning and a sense of connection this can be true to you um i believe regardless of your bloodline regardless of your um uh, uh, land of origin uh, regardless of where you come from i believe this can be true to you especially in these times and um, i'm not saying it's easy uh, i'm not saying it really is easy but i believe that uh, this can be true to you and i more so even that you are entitled to it, to being, you, being, okay, we call it divine being or just a being on this planet. Yes, it's true, we all have expiration date, 
um, where you're entitled to life, you're entitled to dignity. Yes, I do not uh, accept, I do not consent to these worldviews that it's all about hard school and suffering. And no, this is the prison cell teachings. We're not in a prison cell. Uh, uh, we're not coming here for, for prison cell. Um, and you have each and every one of us has right to dignity, has right to life um, and, and to uh, a good life. Uh, so I hope that um, that, that was uh, um, good energy uh, for you. And uh, we'll see you in, I'll see you in a different episode. So thank you for watching.